welcome back to my channel. Two videos from me today, you lucky people. So this is me in present day. The video you saw, you saw this morning, if you saw it this morning, would have been actually filmed a couple weeks ago, but I was waiting for the company to get back to me on my discount code, which I did that this morning, so I uploaded a video. Anyway, um, I did do on my community tab, have you guys missed me? No, or yeah. Um, a lot of you did say yes. What I will say from the word go, I will explain where I've been. Not that I've been anywhere, well I have, but you know, not that I have been anywhere, like, to talk about as such. But what I've been, what's been going on basically. I do like these videos, I feel like I get to be my usual self. I don't, well I am my usual self anyway, but I don't feel like I have to have a reason to film as such. But I am here just sort of talking to you guys. So, get your tea. Not that there's any tea to spill, I'm just having a chat, but I am drinking the TikTok bounce tea, which I got from my Nugusta box, which I'm loving by the way, and my new box should be here tomorrow, which is brilliant. But I just wanted to have a chat with you about some things that have been going on, um, some I'm happy with, some I'm a little bit mixed emotion about right now, but I feel like it's okay to have two minds about something, and the channel here today is something I do in all honesty have two minds about but with that being said i haven't stopped filming because i am actually filming at the moment for a channel which does launch in january starting from scratch i know it's not the best idea but i feel like i need a fresh start and a sort of new platform to build my new interests on although my interests from this channel came from the interests that are going to start the new channel i don't know just stay with me guys <laughs> so firstly i have actually well at the start of october i did go on holiday i did film a couple of videos relating that holiday um and you saw them i think i don't know maybe you didn't but i did go on holiday that was like a double family holiday again my my family joey's family we both went to new york it's like a cheap family holiday after the wedding holiday we enjoyed it that much we went again with that being said I'm so happy to say that me and Joey are just going on holiday as a couple this time um, in a week today. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, but it's just me and Joey. This year we've been quite fortunate and we've had um, three holidays and three destinations that we've not been before. One of which being our wedding in Cyprus. Amazing. If, if you ever want a video on how we planned our holiday or how I planned our wedding in Cyprus let me know. I am thinking of doing that anyway because I do like these sort of sit down chatty videos. I feel like you get the full me in these videos to be honest. So work, work. <laughs> I love working at Audi and I feel like I always put my best into it and I feel like I got the best out of it. Like I've been there since May of 2018 so I've been there a while and i've had my ups and i've had my downs it's you know i think it's quite common in the work industry to get that that's just a normal job and you have your emotions about it so i've worked hard i think i've helped in other stores and i feel like i deserve my promotion that i did eventually go ahead and get i don't start my promotion until january but i have mixed feelings about it i'm not gonna lie um i feel like some people may make it hard for me and in a previous job where I was in a management position it was hard and I don't feel like I got full support and I ended up walking out. Now some some of you guys if you were here a very long time ago when I done a video about quitting my job may have seen that video and I was I was really quite angry and I wish that I could have expressed those feelings in person and I am somebody who at work I try and stay professional and try not to uh, my opinion whereas I think that might have been where I went wrong but I need to be more strong about uh, my opinion uh, I think that's the only way forward I am doing training in a different store so I'm going to go to another store again which I think will be good for me like 100% I think that'll be good for me but at the same time I'm obviously nervous about meeting another new team how they're going to react with me they know that I'm there for training and the store that I'm currently at are they going to forget that I'm coming back do you know what I mean like you know I've got unanswered questions and I think that is okay to have unanswered questions when you don't know a lot about the situation but it, it makes me feel uneasy like I feel like I might have been in my head 
thinking I'm going for the wrong reasons. But either way, I got a promotion. And like I said, I'm in mixed minds about it. I was really happy at the start. Then a week in, things happened, people came in, and it made me feel uneasy again. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just weird. I'm weird. <laughs> So I also feel like my channel got stuck in a rut. I feel like I got set in my ways of doing the same videos all the time. People tuning in, of course, like, and I appreciate that. But I feel like I was doing it more for the wrong reasons in the end. Like I was forcing myself to do these videos and bring out this content that actually didn't bring me any joy anymore. It didn't make me happy doing those videos. And I feel like that might have come across in my channel. I hope not, but at the same time, I feel like I lost my way with it and I have said that in previous videos before that's no big secret and I just feel like I had but one big thing that I got a bit fed up with and it's not because I found it particularly hurtful or it made me angry but the hate really did start to take its toll as such because it gets a bit boring it gets a bit repetitive and sometimes I think people f say blah 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 no hate but you've been nasty so is it hate is it not hate and i know there are youtubers or not known youtubers anymore but youtubers who used to stick up for me and then they used to get it in the neck and i think hang on a minute that's not fair either this is my channel you've got an opinion fair enough i haven't got an issue with you having an opinion but do you need to say nasty things and do you need to get personal about appearance or what I think as opposed to what you think. I don't think that's fair because this is meant to be an outlet where you're allowed to express your normal self and I feel like a lot of people are now scared to do that because they are scared that they aren't going to be welcomed into the community how they want to be welcomed into the community and that is not what YouTube should be about. It's about a creative outlet and if you're not being creative anymore and also if you're not being really true, is it really worth you doing that channel in the first place? So anyway, with all that being said, although I haven't been filming, I can't remember if I've said this, I have been filming in the background for a different channel. For um, where my channel started, I feel like I need to bring it back. Uh, but this time, instead of being all about buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that, <laughs> it's more about using what you've got. And I have to say, I've got a month worth of videos already set to go. And... I just can't wait for it to launch. I wish I could launch it early, but I can't because in those videos I say January <laughs> or, or whatever we're going with. So I do have a channel coming. If you've been subscribed to my new Instagram, you might have a little inkling of how that channel is going to pan out. But I don't want to, I do not want to like let it out of the bag what it's all about now because it'd be unfair for those that are waiting for that. I kind of answered those, those points of where I've been and how I'm feeling. So, with the minds of I've, where I've been, I don't even know what I've said anymore. <laughs> so I've been decluttering, not just like my beauty world, but like my world in general, because when me and Joey move, we don't want a difficult move. We do not want to have to move things that we just haven't used in years or months or weeks or whatever. If, it, if we're not using it, we're just getting rid of it now. We just feel like it's inappropriate to keep it. Himself as well, he's been quite good at like trying to use things up as well, like for instance, his body body care and aftershaves and whatnot he's been trying to use it up i think we're kind of having a secret competition i'm kind of winning at the moment though 100 <laughs> percent. but i think he's like oh i use this up today mercedes what do you think and i'm like whoa we get excited about it like as silly as that sounds but we do get excited about it um so yeah i've just i'm loving what i'm using already basically and i just i I have I have been getting look fantastic glossy box and birch box but I've just been enjoying them on my own and I'm not saying that I'll never review them again because I probably will but I'm not in that mindset right now where I feel like if I say something to you guys someone's gonna come for me and I just I haven't got time for that and I just don't want that on my channel this is supposed to be where we are allowed to be honest but honest in a respectful way and that is gone and um, people get rude now and I have to admit I do bite back and then people say to me you shouldn't bite back you're a YouTuber you should set an example no I'm gonna stick up for myself and stand my ground when it comes to whatever that person's saying I'm sick and tired of people saying to me I'm ungrateful because I don't like something that I've um, I've bought 
I'm sorry, I have people bring broccoli back to me because they're not happy with it. I can't say you're ridiculous, you're so ungrateful you bought yourself that bit of broccoli and you don't like it. That is uncalled for. It's silly, maybe, but if they're not happy, they're not happy. They're a consumer, they're allowed to have their money back. And as a consumer of beauty, if I'm not happy, I'm allowed to not be, un I'm allowed to not be happy. And I do not appreciate people saying you're ungrateful especially when i work my butt off at work in order to get that product whether it's 10 pound 5 pound 15 pound 50 pound i don't care how much it is if i'm not happy i'm not happy now this is where it really gets me jar rated because i know it's kids that are writing this kids who have no sense in money and no understanding of the value of money and they're saying oh i wish i had that well actually love go get a paper round and go and earn it because that's what i used to do and if i wanted anything i'd go out and earn my money as a teenager i would earn my own money and buy the things i want and if i didn't want to buy something i saved my money so if you want something and you get pocket money or you have to do chores in order to earn your money earn it the right way because i'm a true believer and you get what you earn and that is what really if i could swear right now winds me up <laughs> because i don't want to buy as much at the moment i'm obviously trying to minimize what we have to move i'm not watching the same content as i used to watch i do watch my favorites on occasions but i haven't watched religiously some of my favorite youtubers videos because i don't want to be sucked into these deals i just don't and i don't feel like it's fair for them but at the same time i don't want to jeopardize myself in failing at something that i'm just trying to do good at because i don't want to have to move all this stuff with me and at the end of the day it's just powder like i know that's so bad to say that but it is just makeup like do you need another warm tone palette do you need another colorful palette right now do you need this honey palette that you're lost in after do you need the huda beauty retro mercury glorayed palette whatever it's called probably not would you want them of course yeah i do want them but i don't need them right now and if i don't get them i don't think i'm going to be overly mad about it to be honest with you and i'm sure i could pinpoint problems with those because I, as a consumer i'm allowed to that is like my customer rights <laughs> So with all that being said and how I don't need everything and sometimes it's just a want or an urge, um, I am challenging myself to use up a thousand pounds worth of products. To think I've even got that amount of product sitting in here is kind of stupid. I'm going to be real with you, it's, it's pretty stupid. And one thing I don't do anymore, which I found myself doing all of the time in previous years, not this year or last year because I've really decluttered down and curated a collection i'm quite happy with is buying backups why buy backups because at the end of the day by the time you've used that product up you probably want to try something new and that is what i do now and i just i don't see the point in backups anymore to be honest with you i've got one backup item and that is literally because it is my travel face palette now i don't care what holiday i go on and where i go this palette has two powders two blushes a bronzer and a highlight and it's just everything you need in one palette and it's just lightweight and it's ideal everyone had their thing about this palette but i love it i use it and i get my use out of it and i saw someone selling it brand new untouched and i thought Do you know what i'm gonna swipe it i asked the lady how much it how much she was asking for it knowing it was a 50 pound palette and she said eight pound fifty with postage so i took it <laughs> that is the only backup that i own and i'm working through all my like uh powders so all of my face powders as soon as i'm hitting pan on them i'm moving on to the next one um i'm now on a loose powder which is going to take ages but i love it and i absolutely hate loose powders but i love this one that i'm using so i'm just going to enjoy it just enjoy what you've got I'm working through lip colors and being more creative and i just feel like my outlet is coming back even if it's not on this channel do you know what i mean like i'm just being my normal self on camera off camera just being who i want to be i don't know where i'm going with that one the only thing that i can recognize as a, a splurge is quite an investment Um, it was the dyson air wrap and i had had my eye on it for a while um, I did get it at this point in time because QVC had it on instalment payments so I could make four easy instalment pay payments over four months and it'd be obviously more manageable to pay for but at the same time I wouldn't have to dip into our home savings so I did take that opportunity up but 
Uh, another reason why I chose QVC is because it doesn't affect your credit score. And the final reason that I chose QVC is because you get a 30 day guarantee returns policy. So if you're not happy, you can return it. I know I never seem happy to some people about my purchase, but I am very happy with this one and I do absolutely love it. I've had it for, I want to say, for three or four weeks now, probably three weeks, and it's not going back. I'm happy to pay the three more payments on it because I'm quite happy with the product. It's a lifesaver, in humble opinion. I think if I didn't get this, I would be very close to um, cutting all of my hair off, which in reality I didn't want to do but I just had enough. That's a story for another time. So I've been putting more time and effort into my home life as well as such as um, just making the house look homely which is something we haven't done for the whole time we've been here. Areas were homely but some areas weren't. There are still room for improvement and there still will always be room for improvement in my opinion because I'm always changing things up and making things different because that's just who I am. Um, as a person but I've also been meal planning which in the process has saved us money because I don't think we've had to buy a meat product in three or four weeks because we had so much in our freezer that we just weren't using we were just forgetting to get it out and we weren't using that we actually are because we're planning ahead of time we're getting it out of the freezer and we're eating the stuff in the freezer as opposed to having to buy more stuff which is brilliant we're really happy with that um what else have i been doing it's just this is just you know letting it all out sort of video i'm sorry if it's a bit rambled i did try and make notes which is why i keep looking down but i just sometimes you just gotta let it out um i have really been enjoying the idea of putting outfits together again this is something that i used to do way back when i started this channel way 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 back when when i literally had no idea with youtube i kind of started with the sewing and making my own outfits and then it went into the beauty and that's where it stopped at the beauty and that's just where it accumulated from but i used to love making things and i'm sure you guys are no stranger to that if you've been on my channel for a while i do love making things i altered my own wedding dress which was an accomplishment to be quite honest with you and it's something that i think that i would love to do for other people but obviously again i'm a nervous type of person like what if i mess up their wedding dress I'd be in big trouble <laughs> and also just experimenting with jewelry and stuff i've just been really into that right now so that's just i'm just going with the flow i'm not like saying i love this and only this i'm just doing whatever floats my boat right now i think what i've learned from how i've been feeling over the last three or four weeks is just don't let anybody make you feel like you don't belong or deserve where you are right now like i'll see i feel like that with my management position and i also feel like that in the youtube community at times but don't if you enjoy it just get on with it and just sod what anyone else thinks like that's why i've decided that actually yeah i quit youtube in the summer but i'm back you know and i didn't really have to explain why i'm back but i am and i just upload as when i feel like it um and i just feel like these sorts of videos are the ones where i can get my most honesty through even though i'm always an honest person i feel like this is where you see the real me and i wish that I was more like this in person to people in front of me when I have something to say I'd just rather just say it but I just don't have that courage sometimes sometimes I do and then I think hang on a minute you probably think I'm a but at the same time I spoke my mind I'm not gonna let you walk all over me and I'm certainly not gonna let you dictate how I'm doing if I feel like I'm doing fine I don't know maybe I'm wrong <laughs> but it's fine I will uh, see you all in my next video. If you do want to see more videos like this from me where we just sit down, have a little chat and see how things are going, let me know. If there's topics you want me to talk about, do you know what? Tell me about them in the comments because I'm down for this idea. So let me know. I'll see you soon.